Hi guys, I'm Anissa and I'm back with another video. Today I want to share with you my weekly wrap up. This past week I managed to read three more books, so I have three more books to talk about. The first thing that I, the first thing that I finished this past week was um, Murder Most Frothy by Cleo Coyle. This is book four in the Coffee House Mystery. And it's the first time I've been a little bit annoyed with the books. In this one, um, our main character, who is a part owner of this coffee shop, there's one of her friends who is murdered, and so she takes it up to herself to, to try and figure out what happens. Um, so the mystery itself was not, was not bad at all. The thing that didn't really work for me in this particular book was the, the, the um, family things, the things that I've actually been enjoying in the other books. Um, there's just some things that our main character did that I didn't really like. I don't, I don't know if I can talk about it without spoiling it. I mentioned in the previous book that there's a sort of um, feeling as if the books wants us to hope for the, her to get back with her ex-husband. Um, and I don't know if that's true, but there's a part in this one where um, her ex-husband's mom, so her ex-mother-in-law, uh, who is also like part of this uh, coffee house? It keeps uh, suggesting that she should get back with, not really accepting the fact that she's not with her 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 son any longer, and not really accepting the fact that she decided to change back to her maiden name instead of using the 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 the, the, the surname that she got when she married um, this man. And I just found it really really weird. And then there are some things about how she, how our main character talked to her own daughter and the conflicts between her and her daughter. This one, it just annoyed me a little bit. So that definitely dragged down the enjoyment overall. So I gave it a three out of five stars this time around instead of four stars. Um, so I hope that doesn't become a normal thing in the future, but I'm happy I did read it. So yeah. The next thing that I finished was uh, Dark Places by Catherine Arden. This is the first book in the Dark Places series. I think it's called something like that. It's a middle grade horror fantasy esque type book. Um, it is nom the the sequel is nominated in the Book to Pacific Award. So I decided to quickly get started on those things in before I get go stressed get stressed out or something because I couldn't get to all of them. Um, I have a lot of books that I need to read, um, but I did really enjoy it overall. It is not my favorite. Um, it's not my favorite Catherine Arden. I, I, I prefer her, um, the, the Baron and Nightingale book a lot. Um, compared to this one, I didn't get the same atmosphere. I, I know this is supposed to be a sort of scary book and a lot of people are scared, get scared by, by the book. That's at least how I've been feeling. Like I've seen a lot of people mentioning how they thought this book was super scary. Um, I don't particularly think that myself. Uh, I think I was a little bit underwhelmed by the, the horror part of this because I think maybe because I was listening to this in audio form and the narrator is from a child's perspective. So the narrative is told from a child's perspective. And so for me, a child is not able to get that creepy atmosphere um, in her voice as like adult narrators would be able to. So I didn't get that under your skin type of atmosphere when I was listening to it. And I think that might have changed how I end up enjoying it overall. Um, and it's not because I want, because it was also feel wrong if an adult narrated it from a first person point of view of this kid. Um, but maybe um, a third person point of view would have been working better for this one. I'm not sure. This is just my personal opinion about it. I definitely overall in, enjoyed it. It was fun. I understand why a lot of people enjoy it. I definitely understand why kids would think it's a really, really good book. Um, so I ended up giving this four out of five stars. The last and final thing that I finished last week, this week, uh, is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling, the first book in that series. Uh, it has been my reread of the month and I have really enjoyed rereading it. It was a really good experience. Goodreads says it's the third or fourth time I am reading Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, but I've also read it 
before I started my Goodreads, so I don't know how many times I've read it. Maybe I've read it five or six times. I'm not sure. Um, I enjoyed it. I think there are a couple of things that, I, as I said, there was a couple of things that I, uh, I have forgotten. One of my favorite things when I read these is, um, I that it, that's the whimsical part of this that I think a lot of people mention when they talk about the Harry Potter books. I mean, yes, it's a little bit flawed in that I don't think the writing is incredible. Um, there's definitely authors that are, that write better. But I do really enjoy the characters and the characters mean a lot to me and she's able to create a lot of um, emotions surrounding all of the characters. I think of the trio, Harry is my favorite so I'm, I always enjoy uh, reading these because Harry is such a good character to me. Um, I think he he's definitely flawed, he's not perfect at all. I like how he stands up for his friends all the time. Um, there's a specific part where um, Neville is insecure about himself because he's just been bullied by Malfoy, uh, Draco. And Ron has been t telling him how he should stand up for himself and then um, Neville letting Harry know that, um, yeah, you don't need to also let me know that I don't fit in here in Gryffindor because I am a wimp or something like that. And then Harry it's very quick to defend him and say that just the Sorting Hat picked him for Gryffindor for a reason that he's ten times better than Malfoy, and I, in in the way that he he tried to to help Neville, and I really really enjoyed that. It was something I completely forgotten, but I really really enjoyed that specific scene. And then there are sort of things when like the first time Harry experiences something that is good um, because he's always been. Um, treated so horribly by the Dursleys and never gotten anything so the first time he gets Christmas presents <laughs> on Christmas morning um, and the way he experiences that and he's completely baffled about the fact that he gets presents which is also a cadeau to Molly because Molly is such a, a good mother figure that she is able to also take Carrie in along with all of her other, other seven children. <laughs> I just had to count again. I was I would say seven children, but I was I just didn't want to seem like a dork and not know it. Um <laughs> but one of the things that I have noticed that I miss from the movies is definitely Peeves. I think he's such a fun character and I think it would be fun to see how that would have been added to the movies, but I kind of also understand why he did he wasn't added, but it's definitely funny. Um but it was a fun experience in rereading this and I definitely re recommend rereading your favorite books when you're uh, an adult and see how they change. Harry, uh, the first book has never been my favorite, it's always been one that I've given like four stars. Um, but I am really happy I read it and I think it's a really really good start to this amazing series. Four or five stars upon a reread. Um, so those are all of the things that I have managed to read over the past week. I am currently, I have f started on Dead Voices, which is nominated on the Book to Best FF Awards, um, and I have finished the first part out of five. So I don't know if I expect to finish it on Monday. Either way, otherwise I'll finish it on Tuesday. I am pretty close to finishing off um, Lethal White. Um, I don't think I'll be able to finish it today. Because I have three hours left of the audio and I don't think I'll be listening to three hours. Or maybe an hour. So I expect maybe I'll get like this much further than I already am. So I think I will finish this Monday or Tuesday as well. Depending on how much chore stuff I do when I get home. <laughs> that seems to be the way. I, was, I, I wanted to go for a walk today. But when at, at the time that I wanted to go out. For walk and listen to my audio. Um, it was raining and hailing, so I decided against it. Um, so and then later on, when there, the, the weather was good again, I had a couple of things that I wanted to see of uh, sports things on TV. So I guess that's what happens. So while I was watching some sports, I did get through some of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I haven't put on the dust jacket because I didn't feel like it. This is how I read it. Um, this is how far I am now, so I'm over halfway, but I, I mean, it's been a struggle. Um, I mean, 
the difficult thing is that some parts of it I really enjoy, but I think the last, I would say the last hundred pages, I've only been slightly interested in what has been happening. Um, but I know I like sort of the place that it has gotten to now. Um, so I hope that it will help me. Um, I have been, I feel like I've been reading a lot today. Like I feel like I was spending a lot of time reading this and I've still only read like 50 pages. So it takes forever to get anywhere for me. And it sort of, at this point it annoys me because I don't get anywhere and I hate when I feel like I spent a lot of time with a book and I don't get anywhere with it. Um, and I think currently I don't really super mu much care for either Jonathan Strange or Mr. Norrell actually. Um, it might change, but I don't find them to be super incredible characters. And I'm a little bit saddened about the fact that the two main characters of this book is not able to move me <laughs> in any way. Um, I think Stephen Black is pretty interesting and um, but he's like in it like for like five pages every hundred pages or so so that's a little bit sad I hope that he'll be in it more uh, as time goes um, also because I think it's taking a little bit of a shift where they're exploring more of the fae world in this but I'm not sure about this but yeah so this is my struggle currently. <laughs> my plan is for next week, I am going to be reading The Other People by CJ. I don't remember his surname, um, but I am looking, but I'm looking forward to reading this one nonetheless. Um, I mean, I hope to finish Lethal White for sure next week. Um, and I don't know if I will finish anything else. I hope there's a part of me that also really wants to finish uh, Jonathan Strange and get it out of the way. So we'll see how much I get through over the week. I hope it picks up soon for for my own benefit for my own benefits. But yeah. Anyway, this is all I read over the past week and my plans for next week. Let me know in the comments down below what you've been reading. Have you read any of the books that I'm talking about today? If you have, definitely let me know about your thoughts on it. Um uh, also let me know if you've read any interesting books lately that you'd like to recommend to me. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.